damn foresters. That to be so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. <laughs> what have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed rough. up like I, a lord. Uh, a stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duncanville. <laughs> And you have the fucking stones to try it again? No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have forest for dead? <sighs> They're forest! Leave. Now! Fine! I'll dump them in the river then! <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving! You got that? I, I heard you! Oh, lousy sheep fucker. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, sir, I... Don't worry yourself. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick! By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! The milk of a poppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. See you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost you. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry. You don't look fine. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Oh, it 
Tell them they don't look good. I wouldn't dare. Roderick, something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> you can, Talia. I know you can. <laughs> It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I will do what I must to preserve House Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you, I just... It's all right. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. <sighs> I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The 
war. Recruits Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Mm. Cause you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We uh don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. He'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You thief. A raper. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> 